Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will keep my remarks brief and leave my full testimony here. My name is Thank Bruce you. Delaney. I'm owner of a small business here in Boise, and I'm here to support House Bill 2. Although I'm not a native of Idaho, my two children are. Um, over the past two days, the committee's heard testimony, sorry, three days, from those who suffered discrimination in housing and job opportunities because of their sexual orientation and gender identity. We've heard stories of bullying, harassment, and discrimination. We've also heard from owners of small businesses about their concerns about potential lawsuits if this House Bill 2 passes. I'm here to tell you that I do not share these concerns. They said I have a business here in Boise. Um, Boise has had an ordinance for the past two years with language very similar to the language in House Bill 2. On Monday, we heard from Marianne Jordan from the Boise City Council about the effects of the ordinance that Boise passed two years ago. T yesterday, we heard from Chief Masterson of the Boise Police about the positive effects of an ordinance like this one, the LGBT community feeling safer, um, it being better for business, and how no lawsuits or criminal charges have been filed in the two years because of this Boise ordinance. As a business owner in Boise, I see only the positive in having a safer and more welcoming environment for my customers and for my staff. I have family, friends, and customers from the LGBT community. If you own a business in Idaho, you do as well. I've heard a lot of mention of special treatment. No one is asking for special treatment with this bill. They're asking to be treated with the same dignity and respect that we all deserve. I urge you to send HB2 to the floor with a pass recommendation, and I stand open for questions. Are there questions? Thank, Thank you. you.